in the real world one of the most common use case of artificial intelligence is retrieval augmented generation or rag in simple words what it means is to use this ai to talk with your own data for example your company must have a lot of data stored in files like text pdf html and there are a lot of other formats if you want to use these large language models to glean or extract intelligence from your own documents you need to use a rag what happens in rag is that you take your documents you convert them into numerical representations called as vectors then you store those vectors in a vector store or vector database and then whenever a user asks a question from a large language model in order to provide the context from your own data you convert that user's text prompt or question into numerical representation vector you take that vector you make a similarity search within your vector st uh, store and then return the similar vectors and then you embed or augment those similar vectors to user's prompt and then you give that holistic prompt to your large language model and that's how your large language model gains a whole context around your own data and then it is able to give you an intelligent answer in the context of your own personal information so that is what a whole rag end to end workflow or pipeline is there are a lot of tools out there which are trying to make this rag as easy as possible because um, as you can already imagine all of this vectorization similarity search ranking and all that stuff is not that straightforward if you start implementing it piece by piece and that is what we were doing last year and rag to riches is one such tool which is aiming to make these things as easy as possible the good thing about r2r or rag to riches is that it works with um, api based models as well as with local models through olama or light llm you can use it with OpenAI, with anthropic with mistral and all those providers easily with local one it only provides text based it doesn't uh, support the multimodal by the way anyway so in this video we are just going to orient ourselves as how to install rag to riches and then we will also build a small rag pipeline by using openai's um, um, rag to riches by model you can use olama with it too but i will make another video for olama it's not that hard but let's to get started to get our hands dirty with r2r let's do the um, open AI thing. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM which I'm going to use for this video plus the GPU card which I will be using. So, if you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Do check them out. I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So highly recommend it really good stuff do check them out okay let's go to my vm and this is a vm i'm using ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card and i'm going to use conda to create virtual environment so let me do that this is the environment which i'm creating r2r and I'm, I'm also stepping into that environment let's wait for it and that is all done let me clear the screen in order to install this r to r or rag to riches the command is very simple simply do pip install r to r and all and it is going to install everything for you so let's wait for it to finish and my, meanwhile that happens let's also grab our openai's api key so for that you would need to go to platform.openai.com and then of course it's a paid option create an account get your api key and we will be setting it after this installation is done okay everything is installed now and now just use this command export openai underscore api underscore key is equal to and then in double quotes just your enclose your key and you should be good to go so let me set up my key and clear the screen now before i move forward and we start using this r2r let me quickly show you the architecture so this is how the rag pipeline works which i also described at the start of the video so there is an ingestion pipeline you get your document you ingest them and then um, from there whenever you a user asks a query the vector store is searched similar responses are retrieved and then it is given to 
uh, large language model which generates the responses these responses are evaluated and then returned to the user so that is how this whole thing is working i think this is needlessly complicated diagram but still you got the idea as what is happening if you just keep the things which i told you at the start of the video okay now let's go back to our terminal and start using it one of the good thing r2r have done is they have started given this quick start thing so with the help of it you can ingest your own file or you can use their files so once you run this command uh, python 3-m r2r examples dot quick start it is going to ingest some of the files html doc text and that sort of stuff and you can readily use it let me run it so it is going to download some of the files as you can see here some are pdf some are html some are even images so let's wait for it to finish it is just downloading these files so not only it is downloading the files but it is also parsing them chunking them and then embedding them and storing a prepared list of sample files and these files contain html pdf png mp3 and txt examples that is all done it took this many seconds and these are all the files let me clear the screen in order to check the document info which we have downloaded you can run this document underscore info with that quick start and this is whole json which you can readily check out i know it's not that easy to read but still it is giving us all the metadata about the documents which we have stored remember this is to be used in your application or in your rack pipeline and this json format is a blessing okay so documents are there now all we need to do is to just check it out so what was our purpose the purpose was to do the rag which means that we have our own, we have our own documents now with the help of rag we want to ask questions with this document we already have set our key so for example i'm going to ask this this question python 3 or with a quick start and i'm searching with the query who was aristotle so once you run it it is going to convert this into numerical representation and then it is going to search in the vector store by default r to r user sqlite as a vector store so you see it is going to searching search it and then it is just initializing the pipe and there you go your whole data that who was the aristotle and this was the question this was the associated query and this was the answer we received okay so you can even do the completion or full rag with it let me run it so instead of search i'm just giving it the rag option let's run it it is going to there you go so it has given us the response here amazing stuff and then you can use that in the in your code easily so this is a very very terse answer this is what we required you can even do the streaming with it if you want to sort of build a chatbot or assistant and for that this is a command that i'm just putting the streaming is equal to true at the end there you go now another very important factor in the rag pipeline is that documents are a sort of a living thing they keep changing so if this also provides a very easy way to update the whole pipeline if you update your document so if your documents are updated simply use this update as files there you go so your uh, all the documents have been updated and your metadata has changed from version 1 to version 2 for that file so that's it guys for this video i will be making few more videos on rag to riches because there are a lot of things which needs to be covered such as they have um, their local dashboard which you can use the gui with plus you can use multimodal in it i'm also going to cover it from the perspective of olava as how can we configure it and then there can also be a hybrid search so a lot of things um, i'll be covering so stay tuned please subscribe to the channel and if you like the content, please also share it. Thanks for watching.